not even gaining any what? information. He's well, not talking to you. It's verbal abuse. Why you're a bully. Abuse? It's rude. It's mean. It's called speech play. It's not about, no, it's not up. called speech play. It's called being a bad person. You should How's really check person? yourself. Why? Why check your privilege. This is called speech play. Check your privilege. I'm trying to get information. Check your privilege. You're a rude person. What's going on, everybody? So we got a, a little different video today. I got a special video today in honor of a, a new poker term that has been introduced to the world. So if you've been watching the World Series of Poker main event this year on ESPN, you've seen William Kasuf, aka the most popular poker player in the world, talking up a storm on pretty much every episode. On last week's episode, we saw Griffin Banger and William Kasuf get into an altercation where Griffin told William, check your privilege, check your privilege, check your privilege. Now, the story's been all over the internet. It's been all, people have been talking about it on Twitter. It's been on TMZ. It's been on ESPN. All right, so listen, who's in the right there? Is it, is it my man in the deep V-neck bedazzled shirt, smack talking, or is it the Blue Jay guy? Uh, I think it's the Blue Jay guy. I mean, no one's really in the right. Let's be, let's be honest here. Uh, it's ridiculous. But I will tell you this. I would go with the Blue Jay guy to answer your question. If poker was like that all the time, I'd watch poker all the time. Like, if I got smack talk like that and pressure like that and stakes like that, I'd be watching poker every single night. It's been on all the sports type of media blog type sites. But I think... A lot of people out there, just like myself, had absolutely no idea what it means. What, what does check your privilege mean? Why would you tell it to someone at a poker table? I, I, it just doesn't really make much sense. So I decided, let's make a video. Let's investigate what exactly Griffin meant when he said check your privilege. And guys, the results, well, you'll see what happens. The first place I started is one of my most trusted resources, YouTube.com. I put in check your privilege. And one video looked very promising. To prove you belong with PC is go out there and check someone's privilege. Finally! Yes! I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Topher, can you explain? Check your privilege, please. That's getting someone to acknowledge your own inherent privileges and reminding them to put them aside in order to better understand another human's plight. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. One more time, please. That's getting someone to acknowledge your own inherent privileges and reminding them to put them aside in order to better understand another human's plight. All right, so I'm not sure that South Park clip was the best resource to figuring this out. Let's go check out Reddit Poker. There's usually a lot of smart people that gather there, and maybe there's some information that we can use. Ah, so it does look like some of the privileged experts over here have an interesting thread made up about Griffin Banger didn't always have his privilege in check. Let's see what this is all about. My edge is going to be in reading players. And I feel like you can really use the table talk to your advantage to make people feel, you know, uncomfortable and get in their head a little bit. All right, so it does look like Griffin is actually a fan of speech play, and he likes to use it to get into his opponent's head. It's interesting. So maybe when Griffin was talking about check your privilege, that was his version of speech play. He was using it to try to get into William's head and get him to make a bad play. Maybe. Let's go check out Google, see what they have to say. Check your privilege is an online expression used mainly by social justice bloggers to remind others that the body and life they are born into comes with special privileges that do not apply to all arguments or situations. The phrase also suggests that when considering another person's plight, one must acknowledge one's own inherent privileges and put them aside in order to gain a better understanding of his or her situation. All right, well, I'm a little bit more confused than ever exactly what, what he was talking about. Check your privilege. Reminding other people the body and life they're born into comes with special privilege that do not apply to all arguments and situ or situations. Let's see if Google has anything else out there for us. Christopher Burke, a people manager says, it seems to me that the word check in this phrase has two meanings. One is check in the sense of examine, but the other is check in the sense of putting aside influence on an argument, e.g. as one checks baggage before an airplane flight. In either sense though, the term often comes off as equivalent to how dare you, okay? 
The privilege that one hearing this is encouraged to examine and to put aside generally is the institutional advantage that we have in our societies. There's no way that's an actual sentence. I've been, I've been reading this before I recorded this. That, that's not a, I, it doesn't seem like a sentence. Please, all you, all you nerds out there, please let me know, is that a sentence? Please. Thank you. It has very little to do with one's actual individual circumstances other than that institutionalisms lay the foundation of those circumstances. Is that comma in the right place? I mean, I guess the comma's in the right place. This guy seems like he knows what he's talking about. I'm going to assume he's putting commas in the right places. He's really testing it out this next, this next paragraph, though. So, for example, in some societies, a straight white cis male has a lot of privilege. A straight white cis female has less. A straight cis male of color has even less. A straight cis female of color still less. Categories for those who are not straight and cis fit into this hierarchy of privilege at other spots. Generally, then, when a person of categorically lower privilege says, check your privilege to a person of categorically higher privilege, it means something like, you are making an argument about me that is biased by your perspective as a member of a different, more privileged category. And I find that argument to be offensive and uninformed as you aren't taking into account or even aware of how I actually experienced institutionalisms. Okay. Um, uh, let's check out YouTube one more time, see if we can find anything that helps us a little bit more here. Greetings. I'm Tyrone, your guide to Tumblr. Before you start browsing, I must ask you, have you checked your privilege today? <laughs> I will now count all the privileges you need to check. White privilege, CIS privilege, male privilege, hetero privilege, thin privilege, <laughs> able-bodied privilege, daddy privilege, monogamous privilege, native English speaker privilege, adult privilege, binary gender privilege, neurotypical privilege, and if you can think of any other privileges, check them too. And don't forget to learn my pronouns, shit notes. <laughs> Alright guys, well I gotta admit, I'm a little bit more confused than ever. I thought Tyrone would help us clear that up, but he only made me a lot more confused. And now I'm not even sure exactly really what's happening or, or are we any closer to what it means? I'm not sure. It does look like Reddit poker does have one more clip that might show specifically what Griffin means when he says check your privilege. Oh, and there it is. Tinker, you the final flag, making the score for you. What up now, sweet? Woo! All you together, how much? All right, guys. I got to admit, I've spent far too much time over these past 12 hours reading articles on the internet, watching videos on YouTube, reading books by local and leading social justice warrior experts, trying to get to the bottom of what exactly check your privilege means in this context. What did Griffin mean? And to be honest, I've got absolutely no idea. I think what happened is that William was using his patented speech play. Griffin, you know, just reacted a certain type of way, maybe said something in the heat of the moment, they're playing for a lot of money, that probably just used in the wrong context, and I think that's his way of saying is that you're an asshole, please shut the fuck up. I think that's what he was saying. So, you know, I, I think people might be being a little bit you know, hard on Griffin for the way that he reacted to William. And I think as someone who has got a chance and has been lucky enough to experience speech play from William over on the Poker Life podcast, I can kind of understand how Griffin might have reacted that way. And also there obviously is another level of showmanship potentially as well. He's got aces. He wants his opponent to do something, uh, you know, make a bad play. He doesn't know his opponent has kings in that spot. And maybe he thinks that by, by saying something like that, he might induce some action from William in a spot where there's, what, 16 people left in the main event. So, overall, I look forward to Check Your Privilege being a part of the poker jargon for many years to come.